Fox Focus, a few minutes for a closer look. Hello and welcome to Fox Focus. Today we're going to do case or no case. I'm Karen Delisandro from the FM 106.1 Morning Show, and I'm with Jeff Pittman from PKSD. It's always great to see you. Good to see you. And it's great to find out we're going to do something fun with somebody who watches case or no case. That's right. So it's going to be the PKSD case or no case Facebook challenge. Dun, 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 yeah, which sounds, means it's a mouthful. <laughs> yeah, what does that mean? So that means that uh, we don't want people to go to our Facebook page and in our comments section they can submit a case for us to review and we're going to pick a viewer who will come and be right here between you and I, and they're going to submit a case that we'll talk about case or no case. That is cool. It's very exciting. So definitely do that, and then we'll see you next month. Yeah, the opportunity for somebody to be on TV. For now, you brought cases. I did. So we've got two of them. The first case that we have is uh, your, your son decides to go to a movie at the movie theater, mm -hmm. and um, as they're leaving the movie theater, there's a big group of kids, and a fight breaks out, and your son is injured, suffers a concussion because he was hit over the head case or no case against the movie theater for this sort of mob fight breaking out at the movie theater. Right, was this Batman versus Superman, first of all? Because <laughs> there was a lot of fighting going on there. No, I would say um, I think they are not responsible. I don't think a movie theater is responsible for your kids, are they? You're right. Probably not a case. The reason is that if this wasn't foreseeable, so if they didn't have notice that something had like this had happened before, they couldn't have foreseen that there's going to be a fight breaking out and your and your son getting injured. So mm -hmm. probably not a case. But mm -hmm. if they had problems before and the problems persist and they did nothing about it, there'd probably be a case then. So there's history. Yes. Okay. And they have some notice. Okay. All right. Okay. So sort of, kind of, but probably not. Probably not in that situation. So now the second case we have is a nursing home situation. So your mom lives in a nursing home, and she needs to be transferred from her bed to a wheelchair. During the transfer, they drop her, and she's injured, and she breaks her hip, and unfortunately dies as a result of that. So you and your brother, you decide, you know, you're interested in bringing a claim against this nursing home. This nursing home is also owned by a hospital. And so you investigate it, case or no case against this nursing home for dropping your mom and injuring and killing her as a result of that fall. The, and the nursing home is owned by a hospital. There's yes. a complication here, I, I foresee, but I'm still going to say no matter what, there's a case? Not a case, and you caught the twist. And so this is an important twist in the state of Wisconsin. So in Wisconsin, we have medical malpractice laws that limit recoveries, okay? okay. And so if a nursing home is combined with a hospital, and it's usually financially, if it's combined with a hospital, it doesn't have to be physically, um, you as the children do not have a claim against that nursing home. And the reason is, is that adult children in medical malpractice cases do not have claims for the wrongful death that is the loss of society companionship of their parent. So in a regular nursing home case, you as adult children would have a claim for the wrongful death of your parent. Mm -hmm. If it involves medical malpractice, there is no claim for you as the children for loss of society and companionship for that wrongful death. So that's an important an important yeah. twist in, in these types of cases. who would know that? I mean, when you place a parent in a nursing home, whether you're putting them in that situation. Right. Wow. So the, the distinction... You would know that. <laughs> right. The distinction is hospital, no claim for wrongful death for okay. loss of society and companionship. Okay. All right. See? Yes, Jeff would know that. And so would the team at PKSD. If you need them, call them. 333-3333 for the PKSD guarantee. Or you can always go to their website at pksd.com to find out more. Thanks for watching today. We'll see you next time right here on Fox Focus. Interested in appearing on Fox Focus? Email us at foxfocus at fox6now.com.